Greetings, Bannerlord enthusiasts! Welcome back once again. Today, I'm covering Tail World's latest and greatest blog post, The Road to GamesCon 2018. Although I rarely cover blog posts anymore, I found this one particularly exciting for a variety of reasons. For one, we received two more awesome screenshots, and one screenshot of the campaign map, which I have to say honestly looks stunning. The campaign map and the UI has come tremendously far, and the game is looking great. And secondly, this is the final dev blog before Gamescon begins. However, what makes this particularly exciting is that anyone, not just journalists, will be able to drop in Tail World's booth at Gamescon and demo the sandbox campaign. Granted, they can only choose a pre-made character, with the reason given to save time, as the character creation system is very in-depth, but they will get an unrestricted access to the campaign map, its battles, quests, and everything else. I quote, So what will our guests be able to do during the demo? Well, they will pretty much be left to their own devices. We will be at hand, of course, to provide guidance and assistance, but what guests get up to is entirely up to them. Guests will be able to freely explore the map and its settlements, meet and speak to the many different inhabitants of Calradia, hire and train troops, take part in skirmishes and battles, trade goods, enter tournaments, and take quests from notables. The demo is set in the early game phase, so it's extremely unlikely that the guests will be able to progress far enough to the limited amount of time they have to experience mid to late game features, like joining a faction and taking part in sieges, which is unfortunate. However, we feel that the demo is a good representation of what players can expect to experience when taking their first steps in Bannerlord. What makes this especially exciting though, is that this therefore means that the sandbox campaign, at least the early to mid game, is for the most part pretty much done and playable for a general audience. This means we've seen a working multiplayer last year, and we will now see a solid chunk of working single player. The only thing we'll miss is the late game features, which perhaps may be the last thing being worked on. I think a release date with this news is quite likely at this point. Granted though, we've been wrong about this time and time again. However, if anyone there is allowed to demo an unrestricted campaign and go and view anything on the map, they must be pretty confident of the single player state so far. Things look very solid, and I think we are getting close to the inevitable release of Butterlord. How soon? No one can say. But I think they may surprise us. We shall see. I'll be doing coverage of Gamescon next week as soon as I can. Gamescon is August 21 to 25th in Cologne, Germany, for anyone unaware. Anyways, thank you all so very much for watching. I very much appreciate your viewership. I always try to provide the most information in the least amount of time. If you have any comments or feedback, I'd love to hear it, no matter it's done. Next week, we shall see. Have a fantastic day. The days are short, the moments are sweet.